Okay, so welcome back to this video. Uh, for today, we will be looking at other world trials and we will look at these two in particular. So let's start off with Spire, which is supposed to be the Endless Tower mode. Uh, by the way, I believe there are 500 flaws to this Spire. I can't see the rest up there, but as far as I'm aware, according to... Let's take a look at this. Uh, climb the Spire. According to this, it goes all the way up to 500 floors. That's crazy. Uh, so there is that challenge for, I guess, for people who are really that good at the game. However, as you notice, there are restrictions. So it you can't just bring one team and and cheese it out with like crowd controls and all that. Uh, you actually need to build several several units so that you can use them in specific instances. So for this case. I can use all characters, which is awesome. I'll just throw in uh, all my all the characters that I pulled uh, yesterday, or whenever this video is uploaded. This is actually one day after that. So super awesome. Um, what's the name? The Angel of Death. This free netball. She is really really good. So she's. Uh, She's exactly who you need to build up at the start because she will be helping you farm like crazy. Okay, so no challenge here. I got an EXP cat. Uh, let's go to the next stage. So in this stage... Ooh! Okay, so in this stage, I cannot use evil faction. But the thing is, my main team don't even have evil faction characters. So that's all good. This will be a cake clock again. Whoops. Yeah, so currently there is really no issue whatsoever. I think maybe this stage might be a bit might be a bit challenging because I only have two characters. Um I'm thinking, I mean, there's, there's really no use bringing them because they're just gonna die. They're just gonna die so fast. But I think I still might be able to do this. Oh, that reflect damage though. That's crazy. Um, I think I still might be able to do this because my panda is pretty crazy. Yeah, this panda, um, I'm, I'm still figuring out. Oh, I'm gonna get a notification soon. I'm still figuring out uh, how to run him best, but it seems like... Oh, okay, super awesome. There we go. Notification. Uh, but it seems like he he works really well. I'll, I'll make a video on him eventually, but as for now, really, really good. Really, really awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't cover everything. Oh, stop. Okay, so in the Spire, right, uh, not just the faction blocks. Um... There is also a th uh, thing called tax. So the more stages you clear, you unlock uh, tech points. I don't know what they're called. I believe they're just like tech points or something. So I got 13 right now. So with those, you can actually choose to unlock the, the stats that you want. So for me, maybe because my team is a little bit more offensive, I might want to raise my attack. But then again, my panda is also my damage dealer and my panda is not based on attack. Uh, I'll just go with attack for now. Yes, I'll just activate it. Uh, can you activate? Yeah, you can still activate the rest. However, this actually gives you a, a, an option to proceed further. So increase all allied hero speed. Why not? 1%. So like I, I can't activate the one in the middle because I need at least one from the previous part. So crit rate, crit damage, hit, resistance. So definitely crit rate. And I think this is a big one. Yeah, I need 15. I don't have 15. So I, I need to work on the tower a little bit more. But the thing is, I can also just upgrade all these, which I think are quite important. Defense and HP, why not? So yeah, so that's the the, 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 the tower, tower content. And then now we go on to Vapor Dreamland. What this is, is you have, uh, you're, you're just climbing stages 
So it doesn't matter which you start off with, but naturally stage 20 on the left will be harder than stage 19 and stage 18. So for example, if I clear stage 18 on the right, well hopefully I clear it, what happens is I will unlock another uh, like like a frame, another another path. It's not really a path, although it kind of runs like a it kind of runs like a labyrinth style. Like you can choose which of the three you want, but eventually you still have to beat all three. But I think, like I said in the previous video, the good thing about it is sometimes you get a kind of merchant, or I, I'm not sure what it is, but it gives you a huge discount on the mystical scrolls, or mystical books in this case. So just now I actually had a a cheap, um, not mystical book, but it's. It's a mystical book for chaos type characters, which is the orange ones, the orange colored uh, element. Okay, so I'm done with this. Hopefully, you could have heard me over all the the whatever the sound effects. Um, yeah, okay. So now you see on the right side, it's, it's now stage twenty one because it just goes according to stages. So if I beat stage 21 on the right, it will just lead to stage 22, or whichever I beat, it will lead to stage 22. And sometimes they will grant you buffs. So you may chance upon a frame that instead of a stage, it's uh it's like a blessing stage. So you, you select it and they'll randomly give you a blessing. So so far I have max HP and resistance. And I think that's about it. So this whole thing resets, uh, I think every two weeks. Yeah, the first and the 16th. You can actually click the eye up here, uh, it does say it. So it resets on the 1st and the 16th of each month. So just keep an eye on that. I have 6 more days to go, but I have no I have no qualms with, with it resetting. So uh, like if you look at the middle one, stage 19 or stage 21, you see it drops that blue thing, right? What that is, is basically the void summon stone. So, it, it, it's very familiar in Summoner's War. It's like you have a summon list and according to the list, you you can like save it for when you want to summon whatever. Like, I don't really know what I want. Yeah, maybe just not dupes, I guess. So that's it for the, 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 the two otherworldly trial contents. I can't unlock the lair because I need to complete my PvE content 100% which is what I'm working on and is really quite tedious. Okay, so without further ado, let's do some summons. I have 54 plus one legendary summon scroll, so why not? Net 5, come on, big money. Net 5, net 5. Oh, this is a net 4, right? Yeah, okay, see again I'm hitting the rates like one net four and the rest are net threes. I don't understand why. Okay, I will check him out in a moment. Come on, net five, net five. Net five. Okay, this is a net four. Lumi, right? Yeah, Lumi. Again, I'm hitting the rates. Something fishy. Net five, net five, net five, net five, net five. Ooh, what's this? Net four, fortune. Again, hitting the rates, but at least I'm getting new characters that I do not have, so that means I can unlock stuff in the archives. Looks like a net 4. Yeah, oh, oh okay, okay, fine, I'm wrong. So you can actually get multiple net 4s, and well, so far they're all new, which is good. I don't really want dudes because I can't bear to sacrifice- oh shit, this is a 3 star pool. Yeah, completely 3 stars. Uh, and then left five more to go. Come, I can't remember. I don't remember what I was just saying a moment ago. Oh, I don't really want to get dupes because I can't bear to sacrifice four stars to upgrade um my existing four stars. I yeah, unless I want to use two of the same character. This is a new character as well. That's great. Well, um, obviously I'm hoping for a net 5 instead, but... Uh, oh good, this is for skill ups. I would appreciate that. I would appreciate 3 star skill ups. Okay, so all that's left is the... The big one, right? 
Yeah, that's all I have. Oh, okay. 10% chance for a net 5, I think. Where is it? Yeah, 10% chance. The le this one, the one at the top, I mean in the middle right now. Uh, oh my goodness. Just nice. Uh, I guess I'll expand. Come on, net 5, net 5. Come on, Enchantress. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so I got a dupe, unfortunately. Why are you spinning around, man? Okay, <laughs> that was quite weird. Okay, so... Ah, uh, that sucks, but that's not a problem. I'm still kind of over the rates. I mean, I'm still better than the rates so far. Uh, ooh. I, I guess I have one more pool. Let's do it. How many was that? 55, 56, right? Okay, so I got three stars. 56 Yeah, so I probably will buy this times 2 card Because I can get another Uh, what's that? Wait, why does- why, why is there nothing here? Um, I can get another 28 Yeah, 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 if I buy this card, I'll get another 28 Which is Super cool, and then I can probably do another summoning session, so with that, let's take a look at what we have. So uh, yeah, I've, I've actually awakened this girl, uh, she looks really badass right now. Oh, I, I highly recommend you to awaken her, or rather, is it evolve? Yeah, evolve her ASAP, she's super good, she, you, you start off with her. So this is what I already had, this is also what I already had, this is new. Um, not gonna run through all the skills because I don't want to waste too much of my time. This is a dupe. Uh, this is new. This is new. Vampire. I got some interesting new net force. And and as far as I'm aware, it seems like net force and net threes have really really good skills as well. So you don't be too bummed out if you don't have any net fives. Of course, it'll be great because it's like a bragging right, but it's not gonna change your game that much, yeah. So with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.